Introduction to philosophy. I like to start with this sentence. Philosophy is based on the desire to know. The study of philosophy and scientific findings of the Greek culture is essential to the understanding of modern philosophy and modern science. All right. For someone like me who is interested in philosophy since a very young age, the desire to put together an introduction to this way of thinking, for those who are new to it, rises naturally. The main problem that I face in doing so is that um, although each one of us has the faculty to think rationally and to interpret reality in some way, although each individual can naturally be philosophizing about life, it is also true that philosophy is often a higher level discipline with a specialized vocabulary, with very articulate systems of concept, with extremely complex theories, and it requires a gradual approach. One way to describe the introduction to philosophy would be to use an allegory. The path to its introduction would be similar to the approach of a castle, with fortifications, complex floors and rooms organization, a system of guardians that will not allow you to really enter it without a serious commitment, and so on. In fact, Although a desire to know and some initial curiosity could be the first movers to approach this field of knowledge, they are not sufficient to keep you moving on, unless they are accompanied by a certain constant effort to disentangle the difficulties that will present themselves along this walk into a world of concepts, theories, emotions, and hope for a possible explanation, a possible understanding, culminating eventually in a better life. Although memory is quite important in philosophy, in each class we should not aim at a simple transfer of notions to be memorized by the students, but we should offer to the students an opportunity to see philosophy skills in action.